So let's talk about how we came together <laughs> and how the studio came to be and what sure. it's become for us. So sure. I'd come in as an actor when I was pursuing an acting career, I'd come in to audition for you. And there was one audition in particular that uh, I remember very well. I mean, you, you were always respectful, even in the little ways of making sure that actors had water, that you know, those little things that, that suggested that there was some care there. Yeah. You wouldn't sit in your waiting room for an hour and a half like you might in another office. One would try. <laughs> yeah. but, but no, no, you do more than try. You make yeah. sure it's important to you. Well, it is know? important. It right. is important. So, so in that, I had an affection for you as someone who cared about actors. And, and in the room, you were great, too. Again, like doing the work, which to me seems wise, of letting actors do their best work, because yeah. that's in the interest well, of everybody. Yeah, you know? that, that serves everybody. So um, it was for a, a, a pilot. It was, I think, a guest spot on a pilot. And uh, it was, there was a lot of confrontation uh, in the scene. And, and I was bringing it. I was an angry young guy and bringing all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. But you were right there with me. And in fact, at one point, you got in my face. Yeah. And I said, you get the hell out of I mean, we were in it. You know, It was great. No, I remember and, the room. I remember right. exactly where we were. So, uh, By the way, there wasn't a lot of that in there. Just so you know, it was we'd been through so many people who had been really passive and had gone into this sort of victimy place right. with the role. And um, Davis Guggenheim, who was the director, said, "We got to get somebody who's going to come in here and just attack it. This guy's pissed off." And he said, "Risa, what can you do to make that happen?" I said, "I don't know. I'll try." Boom! In walks Steve Braun. Right. With all that stuff. Who just happened to be pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> so you were pissed off. I was trying to get you pissed off. Right. And it all kind of, you and know, it all happened. So, yeah. so uh, and it was just, I think, um, made me really know that you spoke the language of the work that, that I spoke, that artistically we were in that thing together, yeah. you know? Um, and, and so, uh, and I, I worked with you. you. And you were cast, let's just say, I was cast in the show, yeah. You were cast in that part. Uh, uh, you, yeah. you, in CSI New York. You put, so, you know, we worked together yeah. uh, in that capacity. Uh, and then I, I had been moving into teaching and I had this acting blog um, that uh, that I was doing as well which was an interesting blog and it was anonymously authored and I'd give behind the scenes I had be in all these rooms during pilot season and then I'd offer on the blog what the parking situation was what the wait times were like these things it was that, a great and I remember seeing it it was a great blog but I just wanted to know who who was who behind right, this right. door what was it called uh, it was called kill the door kill the door called, yeah. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and it was angry and yeah. it was all those things but, but it was but provocative it was and provocative. it said something and I right. loved that but I, I reached out to you because I, I wanted to I said nice things about you uh, uh, very consistently on the blog um, and because you did nice things for actors and so I wanted to interview you and uh, I just kept finding that we spoke the same language yeah. of the work. You were doing your master class, I was teaching. Uh, we decided to do um, uh, a workshop. Uh, but before that, though, we also met for coffee and talked a lot. Right. You know, we come. I know I would come away from there thinking, "Oh my God, this is somebody with a with a like mind who really cares Absolutely. about the work." And I yeah. just, I love that. And I hadn't right. found right. that kind of collaboration or right. like mindedness. And I think you talk about care, and that's yeah. that's what I keep coming back to with you. That that yeah. is what kept. Uh, putting me at ease with the discussions it was she cares like a, a ton yeah. almost too much you know what I mean yeah. like and and I, and I feel the same way about me you know yeah. we, we get invested man yeah. we do yeah. like it's yeah. you know you know we know that about each other yeah, now do, but, but that yeah. was part of the bonding of all this yeah. um, and then uh, we did 99 Actors Day, or I helped out with that. Yeah. Uh, and then we decided to do this workshop, which was a teen workshop, which involved your daughter too. And, yeah. and one summer. Um, right, one summer, yeah. which we went ago. really well. And so yeah. there we were really immersed in the yeah. stuff, we not just in conversation. Doing the work. Yeah. Uh, and it worked. It worked yeah. well. It made. But, yeah. um, but it just. It, I think it kept growing as, as our, our our trust in each other and the work that we did kept growing and. And we realized that the care, I think, that we had for actors and for the work, um, it, it was infectious and people started to get that sense. Yeah. And this thing has grown pretty quickly, yeah. which is exciting. Yeah. And, and it's exciting to, to, to go back to that deep care for the work and that love of being in the work as the thing grows. And it's challenging too, as you know. But but so exciting to to still be in that uh, with you. you yeah, know? no, it's, 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 it's an amazing thing. And I think part of why this thing has caught on for uh, for actors and some of the actors who were in that initial class are still, still with us yeah. many um, in fact yeah I, and yeah. you were teaching you you have a bunch of actors you brought to this and so sure. did i so we've been you know we've been coming toward this thing with right. with flocks of people <laughs> but i think part of why this has caught on for people is because they realize that there is this kind of care and this kind of investment right. first of all and also because there's a sense of collaboration we've talked about that before how we come to this thing to meet actors in the work where they are and to figure it out 
with them and to dig in, roll right. up our sleeves and dig in with them. Right. And and there's a sense of commitment that we have to them and to the work and then therefore they to us, as well as a redefinition, I think, and you could talk about that probably a little more, of what the work really means. Right. And, and I, I think that oftentimes if you are selling a, a teaching technique and you want to grow that business, you are inclined to say this is the answer yeah. or I have the answer or if you pay me I will give you this right. and um, maybe it's where we come from or, or the work that we've done or whatever but I think we have learned the hard way uh, uh, in many cases that that, that that doesn't exist and and so um, the notion is that that we show actors what the work really is and help them find the joy in it yeah. um, and, and, and we know and I think we know uniquely because the business also happens like right here, you know, steps yeah. away. It's all happening together. I think that gives us uh, an authority to talk about it in a certain way yeah, that, that when you it, give themselves yeah. to, to, to that love and that joy of it and lose yourself in it, that deep exploration of it, it's good for business too. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, and it's really what, to keep bringing actors back to that, to be fully in and of the work for its own sake, to fill you so that you can then enter the marketplace full and alive and, and with, that, with that own, as, as you call it, artistic leadership, right. um, which is a huge part of it. And, and, and also to just dispel the notion to keep, and we fight this all the time, with 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 the whole mentality of trying to you know the quick fix yeah. you know take it and we do offer eight week classes sure. but you can't you know that that is us just opening the door right. for people to really start to explore their unique voice in the work and to just get rid of this whole notion of trying to control things to let go of this idea that you know if you can figure out the tips and tricks and techniques of things then you will then th 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 that there's this that there's there's this trajectory that there's this a b and c and then you you know you book the co-star and then the guest star and then the recurring and then you're yada yada I mean there's no such journey and I think there's there's an honesty um, in that in, in telling actors I hope so that I hope and, so. but it's not and I think this is why it resonates because they know it to be true as well yeah and because they know they how powerful be, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. that thing was when they first gave yeah. themselves to this when they saw some production uh, you know some regional theater thing that that moved them on such a profound level that said I want to do this forever for the rest of my life or, yeah. or doing a play in their parents basement I mean yeah. th they know the power of that and what we're saying is that's what it is yeah. you know that's the thing that is that. keep coming back to yeah. that yeah. and it's good for your life and it's good for business so and and, and in that and this is where it gets interesting I think inherent in that is the responsibility for that actor to take command of that so you can't look externally for the tip and trick the little pill that I'll take that will make me brilliant at auditioning I'll be a star right. you have that power you have to do the work of scratching and clawing back to it and and express that artistic leadership which is challenging it is challenging but there's there's an honesty in that I think yeah. that we, we, we present it, it, I don't I think there's no other way you know and I think that's part of what happens with us is that we really truly believe that those are our core values right. and by bringing that to every class and to every part of our business we continue to bring actors to their own core values of what this means to them why they're doing this and and what they love about it so that they can keep coming back to that place inside themselves and from that you know a career grows right I mean I think the, the the core of our studio is that each actor is unique to the universe each of them has a unique set of experiences that that when explored fully and expressed fully is mind-blowing and on the one hand it's unique on the other hand it connects us all yeah. to the, the wider humanity and and that's the source of their power and that's what I've experienced in class that blows me away. I mean, I've been in your classes and I've watched you teach and I've watched other teachers here teach and I've seen it in, in my classes. And when that happens, those moments, and sometimes, man, I'll go into a class at 7 o'clock at night after a full day of running the studio and casting and I'll be exhausted and I'll think, I don't, how am I going to make it till 10 o'clock? But by 8.30, yeah. you know, somebody gets up there and does some really <laughs> profound, deep personal work, or not even profound, just like has this experience where they, they meet themselves and they meet another actor and there's this connection and this this electricity happens and for me it's better than going to any movie or any right. play or watching any TV show and I suddenly boom I'm, I'm electrified I'm alive and I'm in it and that's for me that's the juice that's the that's the crack of this thing you know and to be able to have that experience night after night in the studio is 
astounding, and I think that that's the thing that th that's the thing that keeps bringing me back to the work. And that's the secret of all this, right? right. That you and I really, yeah. uh, on so many levels, have built this thing to fill us up, yeah. so that we can be part of a community that we wish we ha always had. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, and uh, it comes back to that that investment, that care. Yeah, uh, it fills us up. It all makes us better people. Yeah. Yeah. You and I both say that all the time. Yeah, and we see actors become their better selves. Right. Yeah, and that's why we're we're doing this. Right.